How you doing everyone and welcome back to another hair.com exclusive. My name is Philip Wolf. I'm a hairstylist and educator based out of Los Angeles, California. And today we're going to be talking about yet another trend inspired by the 90s era, the boy band haircut. In this video, we're going to be going over this boy band hair trend, what the main features are that make this style stand out, show you the process of how it's created, as well as some tips and tricks to help you style this haircut at home. All right, let's get into it. Here's our model for today. And as you can see, it's sort of a choppy one length bob. Here's all angles here. And let me start by saying that even though this is called the boy band haircut, this is definitely a unisex look that can be variated many, many ways. And there are many versions of it but we'll be going over one way today and I'll show you a few ways that you can actually style it as well. Okay, I'm starting off with my seamless organic ebonite comb by Zuka and I'm also using the leave-in spray called Miracle Crater by Matrix. And in this case, I'm also using the new Brass Off leave-in toning spray by Matrix in which there's also one for blondes called So Silver. This helps neutralize unwanted brassy or yellow tones in the hair. And it's kind of crazy because you can actually see it working right in front of your eyes. So one of the main defining features of this boy band look would be the length on the top, particularly the front. Ideally, you want a length that goes anywhere from the eyebrow to about the corner of the lip. And as you can see here, the top and bottom have been separated to start this haircut. And this is where the variations of this look can come into play. So you have a choice. You can do a scissor cut, which I'm going to be doing today. You can totally clipper it. You could also leave it longer, even with a mullety feel. So make sure to communicate it as clearly as possible with your hair artist. The more they understand you, the better the result. And remember, pictures are always helpful, especially from multi-angle. As you can see here, I'm just continuing the same length around the whole head. I'm gonna continue this around to the front and I'm gonna leave the length around mid ear. And here's a better look at the side view. There we have it, things are starting to come together. We're gonna finish the other side and voila. All right, let's get to the top. So we're gonna start in with the middle part, right down the middle, boom, boom. And from here, we are now gonna determine the length in the front. So from here, I'm literally gonna cut pretty much just all around the head. This way I got that extra length to work with. And if I need to cut more off, it can easily be done. Now we have a very similar length going all the way around. What I'm gonna do is actually add a little bit more versatility by slightly adding in some long layers through this length. Now that the layering is pretty much done, you can see from different angles here, you've got a lot of movement. So I'm gonna show you right now one great way if you wanted to add that volume in the very front. I'm using the nozzle of the blow dryer, putting that really close to the bristles of the round brush. I'm blow drying the hair forward, but I'm rolling the brush back and then finish off going all the way back. And voila, here we have look number one. All right, so now we go for more of the sleek look. So from here, I'm using more of a Denman style brush. I'm just blow drying in different directions. This way you work out any of the kinks in the hair or any of the calyx, and then you still get a smooth effect. And here we are with the hair fully dried, and we're now gonna finish this look off with Miss Mess Dry Finishing Spray. Now the key to this is you don't wanna spray too close. You wanna be at about arm's distance and you wanna use the cold setting on your blow dryer. It's absolutely incredible. One of my favorite, favorite products to use. So from here, you can simply shake your head all around or just use your hands. I'm just tossing it up with my fingers. So there you have it, a super cool, low maintenance look, reminiscent of the 90s. Finally, style option number three, we're gonna go with the diffusing method. So I've added my favorite A Curl Can Dream Light Hold Gel. I'm just using my fingers to add tension at the very front to add volume and diffuse the hair in. I don't wanna disrupt the hair too much during this process. You want to use your hands lightly to scrunch, that's totally fine, but you wanna let the drying do all the work for you. Once it's diffused, you can again add your Miss Mess Dry Finishing Spray and use the same technique, cold air, high speed, and spray 
definitely several inches away from the head. So there you have it, a 2022 take on a 90s throwback style coin, the boy band haircut. And here we have it styled and finished three different ways. All right, that wraps it up for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. And if you'd like to get your hands on some of the Miss Mess Dry finishing spray, make sure to get that on hair.com. And if you'd like to follow me, I am at Philip Wolf Hair on all social media platforms. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to stay up to date on more of the current hair trends, make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.